Hello, this is Kyle with TabletMonsters.com, and we're here to take a look at iOS 4.3 on the iPad and also on the Apple TV. We're going to start by going into settings. Um, one of the things that they've added is that the side switch on the iPad uh, was originally a orientation lock switch. So when you hit the switch here, um, the iPad would stay in the orientation that it was when you hit it. Um, but then in iOS 4.2, they changed that switch so that it was actually a mute switch. Um, and some people miss the orientation lock, including myself. So now, right here, they let you change it. You can make it lock rotation or mute. So that's nice. Um, another thing that they uh, changed is that they added home sharing support in the iPod and Videos app on the iPad, so that if you have uh, another iTunes library on your network, you can actually use home sharing now and access that video library in the iPod app, um, and so you can listen to all the music that's on that library and watch all the videos that are in that library uh, right on the iPad itself, as long as you're on the, the same local network. Um, so you can see you activate that by going to the iPod app, actually, and typing in credentials under home sharing. Um, and then we'll go into the iPod app itself, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here, you know, we have my local um, iPad music library. This is all the music that's stored on the iPad itself. But now if I tap library up here, you can see I see the other libraries that are on the, uh, on the network. So I'll select, let's see here, select my own. And there we go. And now I'm on my computer's music library. And so I'm looking at all the music that's on my computer, not just on the iPad, which is, of course, a lot more music. Um, and it also works for videos. Uh, so we can go into the videos app. And you can see these, again, are just the, the videos that are stored locally on the iPad. But if we go up here and hit shared, you can see, again, these are the two libraries that are on my network. And we'll connect to mine. And there we go. And it shows you this are all the movies that I have and show the TV shows. And um, not only can we play them right here and stream them to the iPad, but then we can also use AirPlay um, and actually push them to the TV itself, to the Apple TV. Um, and we're going to see there's some other neat things that we can do through AirPlay in iOS 4.3 that I'm going to show you actually right now. So let's take a look here. Um, one of the things is that I showed you before how you can do pictures and stuff uh, over AirPlay. Um, and you can swipe through them and all, and we'll show you that again. Uh, let's see here. So you can see, you know, I'm going to swipe, I'm going to AirPlay it to the TV. Alright, and then you can see the pictures there, and as I swipe, see it's going to change through, uh, and it's actually quite a bit faster um, than it was in 4.2, so that's nice. Uh, but what they also added is when you do slideshows, uh, you can do really neat um, transitions. Uh, originally there was just kind of a dissolve thing, uh, but now you can actually do all the transitions that the Apple TV itself is capable of doing. Uh, so we'll do origami here and... Um, start the slideshow and we'll walk it up on the TV and you'll see it'll start playing uh, now with those nice new transitions and also uh, with the music that I selected so that's really nice you can actually airplay as well from third-party applications uh, before third-party applications supported airplay of audio but now they also support uh, support airplay of video content. So we'll go ahead and launch Flipboard and show you what I mean. Um, and in addition to third-party applications, um, now any videos that are on um, the web, you know, through Safari or any web browser, um, are also capable of being airplayed to the TV. Uh, so that's really nice. You know, you can just be surfing the internet, and there's an embedded video you want to watch, um, and you'll see. You know, so we'll we'll play it. They say, you know, I really don't want to watch this here. I actually want to watch this on the TV in front of me, and that's exactly what we'll do. So I'll tap that switches and there we go and you can see I mean it's very quick um, and it's just really really nice for you to be able to just push the the audiovisual content that you want to be able to watch right to the TV and you know we saw a little bit of that in 4.2 but not in 4.3 um, you know it's really it's really gone um, the full mile so we really like that and uh, that is iOS 4.3 for the iPad and for the Apple TV Thanks a lot, and uh, be sure to check out monsters.com tomorrow uh, for our exclusive iPad 2 launch coverage.